This simple affordable hack will make a nice large certified solar filter for your big super zoom telephoto lens or spotting scope that will work well and last for everyday observing of our sun and especially during solar eclipses such as the upcoming total eclipse on April 8th, 2024. Time is running out to get ready. I'm getting ready to film the great solar eclipse of April 8th, 2024. And I'm going to travel to Missouri to be in the path of totality. I'm going to use my new OM Systems Mark II with the 150 to 600 super zoom lens. When you talk about taking photos or filming the eclipse, you know, filters are a significant part of that. And at first, like many super zoom lenses, Sigma or Tamron or a lot of the other ones of the major brands like OM System or Canon or Nikon or Sony, the filter is around 95 millimeters. And you want to have a filter on there anytime you're taking pictures or filming up until the point of uh, totality when you can take this filter off. So I've been practicing on filming the sun in, in a regular afternoon just to see what it's going to be like. The sun's going to be at about 60 degrees or so uh, during the eclipse on April 8th. So it's going to be a significant challenge with a big lens. So I tried this with a 95 millimeter 100,000 ND filter or a 16 and a half stop neutral density filter. And this of course makes the sun look white like white light which it is. And really the 100,000 ND filter, in my opinion, when I was practicing with it, wasn't strong enough. And I really just didn't like the uh, ambiance that it gave the shot. And you know, you had to do a lot more adjusting of the various uh, parameters of the camera to get things just right so it wasn't totally overexposed because the sun is so incredibly uh, powerful, obviously. And the one thing you gotta remember is never look at it directly with it in, unless you're in totality. The other thing too about this is it screws into the end here. And it's not a real easy filter to work with. And what you have to do is you have to have your camera all set up on a tripod tracking the sun right up until the point of just a few seconds before totality and then you want to remove this filter. First off, I always like to have my hood on here and removing the hood, removing the filter, and the fact that the 16 and a half stop 100,000 ND filter really didn't seem like it was the ideal solution to me. It led me to another idea. And I've worked with Celestron products quite a bit, and I actually had a, a small uh, Celestron solar telescope last year to test, and it really did kind of a neat job, but it's, it's only $100 and it's not going to be, uh, you know, as, as high quality as you would get with a digital camera and, and, and telephoto lens. So I looked on the Celestron website, I found a nice filter for a 5 inch castle grain telescope on the Celestron, which just slides right on the 5 inch telescope. The diameter of this is 5 and 5 eighths of an inch, and the diameter of my lens hood is about four and five eighths of an inch, which is pretty similar to a lot of them. So when I got the filter, it was a little bigger than I expected, but actually it's really the perfect size to uh, fit off and on like this. So in order to make it fit, you want it to fit securely, but not so hard that it's, it's uh, difficult to take off. So I looked at it and I realized, well, you know, there's three tabs on the Celestron filter and this is a solar film. So this is ISO certified solar film. It's actually much stronger than the ND 100,000 or 16 and a half stop filter, but it's no problem with seeing the details of the sun as I'll show you. So I'm not so much interested in video of the sun up, up until prior to the eclipse, but you gotta be tracking the sun to get everything set up for the final uh, total stage when you can catch a video of the uh, diamond ring and the Bailey's beads and then ultimately the coronasphere. So this seemed like the best solution for me to use, but to make it fit was an actually a fairly simple thing. I just, and this is a good filter. It's cost about, I think it's about, I got this on sale at Amazon for about $45. They're still in stock surprisingly. And that's probably because they're exclusively made for a five inch castle grain telescope. And a lot of people don't realize that they're easy to modify to fit a large number of other things. And this is a nice filter and it's a film. It's not gonna last forever, but if you're careful with it and treat it gently, and I plan to use it for not only eclipse, but also for looking at sunspots, because once you start looking at the sun, it gets kind of addicting with the big lens. You can see a lot of interesting things. Anyway, if you're careful with this, it'll last many years. Uh, you know, you just have to be careful not to scratch or dent the uh, filter. So what I did was I've got this heavy duty Velcro that I use for outdoor activities. It's called Extreme Outdoor uh, Velcro that I got on Amazon. I'll put a link to that in the description, but it's fairly thick uh, Velcro. And the idea I got was just build up the Velcro where the three tabs are and make sure that the last layer was a felt layer. And you just measure there and cut with scissors. And in my case, it took five pieces, three areas of five equal pieces. And I started out with a felt layer and then just build up five layers and made sure that the last layer was felt. So then what you end up with is a real nice adapting on here with a nice soft felt. And then you can easily slide that right on 
like that. It actually holds pretty well. Now you want to be, make sure that, that your filter is well secured when you're using a, a, you know, when you're filming an eclipse. You don't want to have any chance of it falling off. But the way I designed this is it's really nice and secure. It's not going to just, especially if you're pointed up at about 60 degrees, you don't have to worry about this falling off. And even when you hold it upside down, it's firm. So, you know, each lens might be a little bit different on the uh, OM Systems lens hood for the 150 to 600. Five layers of this Velcro uh, work perfectly. And it just depends on what kind of Velcro you use and what the final, uh, you know, diameter of your lens hood. But this was really an easy, I mean, it took me like five minutes to do this. And it was really a cool, easy hack. And you can see that it's a perfect fit now. And you just put it back on your lens and you're ready to go to film the eclipse or film the sun any day. And then when it's time, as you reach uh, the last few seconds before totality, then you just simply slide it off and then as totality is ending you just slide it back on so that's a lot of talking but in a nutshell let's just review what i did here i ordered this five inch castle grain uh, certified solar filter from celestron and just added five slices of velcro to the three tabs here making sure that the last one was uh, the felt and there you go. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science, it's not astronomy. And it's really a nice filter. And I'll show you some examples. This is a comparison between the NASA-produced composite solar and sunspot images, which are highly processed, and the single photos I took the same date with this filter. The detail in the complex sunspot area is impressive, and I didn't spend any time trying to perfect focus or exposure. I was just testing the filter and working on the mechanics of the process. I really love this filter. A true, you know, certified solar filter, which actually gives it a nice sort of yellowish, orangish uh, tint, which, which we kind of associate with the sun's color, uh, compared to the uh, 16 and a half stop neutral density 100,000 uh, filter, which I really had trouble getting it on and off in a smooth manner. And I really just didn't like the uh, ambience and the adjustments that I had to make to make this work because it's really still super bright. Whereas this one, although it filters more of the sun, it's a stronger filter, but it actually is going to give you more detail in my opinion. But this is a, the big Celestron Regal M2 100ED, which would be awesome for watching the eclipse with using your phone with an adapter. But as it so happens, this thing just happens to fit perfectly around here like that. And so the Celestron 5-inch Castle Grain can be easily adapted to fit the big Celestron Regal M2. And the diameter of this is 5 and 5 8 inch, so I'm pretty sure that this would fit just about any big lens by any of the camera makers simple uh, velcro adjustment here so that's the simple hack for uh, watching the uh, sun anytime and especially we're getting ready for the eclipse because what i want to do and a lot of people want to do and i'm just a beginner at this is that you want to be tracking the sun and have it you know set up in your viewfinder and get everything set up with your tripod before uh, the eclipse starts as you get close to uh, totality you really want to focus on what you're doing and you want to absolutely make sure that you have the filter on your camera right up until the few seconds before totality and you also want to absolutely make sure that you don't look at the sun without uh, solar safe glasses or some sort of uh, certified uh, glasses this is the celestron uh, make here before you reach totality and for getting good video and photo the, the one of the critical things is just removing the filter when it's time to enjoy the totality of the eclipse and so with this adjustment it just comes off like that this to me fits nice and firm especially because the camera is going to be up like that but the celestron uh, five inch cover also comes with these uh, velcro straps so if you wanted to be super safe you could uh, put the velcro pieces on here and then strap it on but in my case, I'm pretty happy with the way I've got this adjusted and also knowing that it's going to be tilted up at about 55 to 60 degrees. And also it's not gonna just come off because it's held on pretty firmly with the last felt strips. So I'm pretty confident that all I have to do is take it off and put it back on without worrying about it. The last hack that I'll mention with regard to the Eclipse, because you got to transport your equipment, uh, especially your big expensive telephoto lenses. I got this JJC extra large uh, lens case on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description, but it works perfectly for the Mzuko OM Systems 150 to 600 Super Zoom with the uh, tripod collar and lens hood inverted on it. It fits just perfectly and nice and snug and protects it. And I know it'll fit the uh, Tamron 150 to 600 and the Sigma 150 to 600, and probably a lot of other big lenses. So it's a nice, really affordable way to protect your lens when you're traveling. Just to get used to working with the camera and the filter and the tripod, knowing that about two o'clock 
on uh, April 8th that I'll have to be pointing the camera up at about uh, 58 degrees or so to uh, film the eclipse. The only other thing I'll mention is I found that really shorting your tripod to just the two strongest, thickest legs and then sitting behind it in a chair is the best way to get a stable view of the sun and more comfortable, especially if you're going to be there for a long time.